one fateful night my parents gave their lives for me. They became my heroes, their legacy untouchable. Until I learned the truth. My father, Thomas Wayne, was a criminal. He ruled over Gotham from the shadows. And everything I thought I knew about myself changed forever. The children of Arkham exposed the truth about my father to Gotham. Their attack turned friends into enemies and threw the city into chaos. I was committed to Arkham Asylum, where I escaped with the help of a mental patient named John Doe. After a bloody battle, I put an end to it all in the catacombs beneath the city. The Penguin, Two-Face, and Lady Arkham were the first real challenge I faced as the Batman, but they would not be the last. Spring has arrived in Gotham, and with it comes City Hall's quarterly crime report. Crime is way down since the fall of the children of Arkham, marking another triumph for newly minted police commissioner James Gordon. In a statement this morning, Gordon credited his success to the public partnership between the police and the Batman. He praised the mysterious vigilante for his sacrifice, describing him as essential to the security of the city. Things are looking up, citizens. After the long, dark winter <laughs> comes the thaw. Now, if only the Knights could win a game, everyone would be happy. Lucky 13! There it is. Rumi Mori, import export magnet, one time Pipex CEO, international arms dealer. The world sees Mori as a legitimate businessman. A philanthropist who gives to charity, not a criminal getting rich off the suffering of innocence. A masterful performance. I wonder, if a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? What do you think, Master Bruce? Must be hard to stay true to yourself. We all wear masks in public. Every day is a thousand little performances. Perhaps, but some are more encompassing than others. Masks are hard to maintain. If there are cracks in Maury's, we'll find them. The GCPD already bugged his penthouse and found nothing. Meaning that if he's doing arms deals in Gotham... They happen on the casino floor. I need to find a way to hear what Maury is saying. Standing by for support. Look for something with a microphone. He certainly enjoys the good life, doesn't he? Made a fortune running guns during the Arab Spring. Diversified into biotech shortly after. From what I understand, he's not one for pinching pennies. Well, looks like Roulette is his Achilles heel. He has a reputation for being lucky. But then you don't need luck when you own the house. Al. I'm hacking into Maury's phone. Encrypting your signal. Last thing we want is for him to know you're here. We're in. You should be able to pick up audio from Maury's phone. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone with a bad... He's on a roll. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he gets too chatty. <laughs> Try to blend in. So, I've been sitting over there wondering, what's Bruce Wayne doing in a place like this? I figured you went to fancier casinos. I'm looking for something different. New thrills. Well, it's a good thing you're here. And it's a good thing I'm here. You? What in the hell are you doing here? Stop me if you've heard this one before. I begin and have no end. And I end all that begins. Who am I? I don't give a damn. I told you ten times. Our arrangement is over. Death, Maury. I am death. Something's happening, and it doesn't look like a deal. The man in the hood. I remember him from your father's time. I think that's Riddler. Riddler. 
Is something wrong? You seem distracted. Bruce! You think your gibberish intimidates me? Please get away from me. Now. What? Just turn around and start walking. <sighs> You're lost, rich boy. You're not all that, you know. No one threatens me in my own casino. Security! Sir, it's time to leave. For you? An easy one. What question can you never answer yes to? I don't give a crap, let's go. <sighs> Wrong. The correct answer is, are you dead? <laughs> now, let's get started. Get out of there. Get your suit. Al, let Gordon know what's happening. Right away. Hey, no one leaves. <laughs> Al, let Gordon know what's happening. Right away. Hey, no one leaves. Scrambling audio now. Gordon. Batman, what's the status? Multiple gunmen, hostages at the casino. A madman in a mask. Riddler's back in Gotham. Riddler? He hasn't been seen in years. Well, he's putting on quite a show. There's a squad on the way. They'll be there shortly. Be ready for a fight. Please, please, we can make the deal. Anything you want. Our issues can't be solved with handshakes, Maury. This is what happens when you back out of a deal with me. There's only one way you're getting out of this alive. You have to solve a riddle. And I choose my words carefully if I were you. Listen closely. No, please, don't do this. Without fingers, I point. Without arms, I strike. Without feet, I run. Who am I? I've got visual. That drone, fully functional. I'll need a place to drop in without being noticed. Time for some recon. It's a tricky one, isn't it? A mind bender that scratches at the middle. Riddler. A terror from the past. I never thought I'd see him on our streets again. He's not to be taken lightly. The kind of conundrum that drives you to distraction. Rattling around like a rat. Same woman from before. Perhaps you should have turned on the charm. Batman will save her, along with everyone else. Believe me, I know. Remember, choose your words. Some kind of torture device. Doesn't seem like he's getting out until he guesses the riddle. This Riddler certainly has an imagination. Don't think you can just stall. 
I will get bored. You won't like that. Cashier's booth. That'll do. Just need to take out the guard first. Audio playback fully functional. Time for a distraction. What the? I'm losing patience, Maury. Are you expecting a hint? Give me an answer! Batman, we can't get in. The front's covered by gunmen, and they've got the back barricaded with blackjack tables. How should I deploy when we're inside? I'm relying on your eyes and ears. What's the best course of action? We need a distraction. Find a way to limit their line of sight. Sounds like a plan. You're completely insane! No. I don't believe that's it. I'll clear a path. Wait for my signal. Give him hell. We're counting on you. You're ahead of schedule. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll see if I can fit you in. Not him, the hostage! Shoot the hostage! clearly isn't using his head. Break it open. With pleasure. I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... well... since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you... I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge! This is my city! Gotham has forgotten you, Riddler. Crawl back under your rock before you get hurt. <laughs> Says the man with a hook at his throat. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Yet here you are, completely at Gordon, my mercy. Now. <laughs> oh, you have to be kidding! Clever, but not smart enough! Let me show you how it was done back in the day. It just doesn't do it for me. Hollow 
destroying the power lines. There must be a weak point. That's cheating! Think I care about your rules. I'd heard you're a man who followed a code. Why would you save that dirtbag's life? Mori made his money running guns, trading off the suffering of war. I believe in justice. Mori deserves a trial in a court of law. If he's guilty, his cell will be right next to yours. Justice? Ridiculous. Either way, you won't be the one to put me there. You know how to scrap. I'll give you that. But it's not enough. Let's see how you do with something a little more cerebral. Better hurry, detective. Solve my puzzle soon. Or people are gonna get hurt. And we know you can't let that happen. You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? After all, we are here to help. Circuitry inside, but nothing obviously dangerous. The back computer will be able to analyze further. Your days are numbered, bat freak. We'll, we'll see each other again. Yeah, Earth. yeah, whatever. Keep one eye on the sky, jerk-offs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads. Tell me all about it down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody. Not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use help dragging him down. He got a sick pleasure out of taunting us. He was smart enough to slip through our fingers. Yeah, and leave a bloody mess in his wake. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. Remember what we just saw? He hasn't mellowed with age. Uh-huh. Get Fernandez on it right away. Commissioner Gordon! Brace yourself. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way. I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. 
We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary Batman. I've heard a great deal about you. So much so, I don't know if I should believe the hype. I haven't had the pleasure of an introduction, Miss... A pleasure? Huh. Most people don't usually call it that. This is Amanda Waller, director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open our doors to them. Give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. World-class criminals like Riddler, they're kind of our specialty. I've never heard of this agency. I'll take that as a compliment. We like to keep a low profile. <laughs> that means she operates from the shadows. As do you. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly, and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> everyone was wrong. Riddler's back, and if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention the city's corrupt mayor, Dent. I work with Gordon. No one else. I appreciate loyalty, but that there... That's the issue. The only real problem with your setup is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't cut it. I got a local crime rate says otherwise. <laughs> Ms. Waller... Please, Commissioner. Tear gas. In a hostage situation, we got an ambulance full of civilians with their eyes swollen shut. Not to mention you let Riddler slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? You can't put this on Jim. I called for a distraction. Then maybe you're not as impressive as I thought. I'm here to prevent this incompetence in the future. I gotta get a security detail on Mori while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far. As a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Ooh, I thought she was gonna bite your head off for a second. Uh, I'd like to see her try. Special Agent in Vesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it, he's changed. For your eyes only, <laughs> if you catch my drift. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. He's a madman. You can't look for reason in someone so clearly deranged. Riddler does show signs of an obsessive compulsive disorder. But he's calculating, fiercely intelligent. I'd be surprised if this wasn't part of a bigger plan. Let me know if you think of anything. It'd be a help. <clears throat> I'm Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. The chaos. The energy. You can't keep away, can you? You can't go two city blocks in Gotham without tripping over criminal scum. Most people just get up and run away. I'm not most people. I think I know you a little better now. I'll be in touch. Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. But you should know I don't have to play nice. I'm letting you hunt the Riddler for now. You better share everything you find. Or this courtesy call is going to become something you really won't like.
You get me? There's a lot of ways this could go.